Do you guys want to know what's crazy about this game? The Atlanta Hawks hit a buzzer beater three pointer at the end of the fourth quarter to only be down by two points. The Phoenix Suns win 109 107. Yeah. Hey there, guys. My name is Brandon. Welcome to my Phoenix Suns versus Atlanta Hawks game recap in which the Phoenix Suns beat the Atlanta Hawks 109 to 107. Let's talk about it. And you guys, this was an oddly strange paced game. And by that, I mean you have two different teams going head to head, playing their styles of basketball. And it was an entertaining game to watch, but this game was full of runs. The Phoenix Suns would go on a big run. Then the Atlanta Hawks would go on a big run. But the pace of the game was just oddly played. But that did make for an interesting and close game. And as you guys know, Dwight Howard is back home now with the Atlanta Hawks. And guys, I feel like Dwight Howard gets a bad rep from NBA fans. Dwight Howard has always been one of my favorite players in the NBA and hands down is one of the best big men in the NBA, currently averaging 14 points a game and 12 rebounds per game. I feel like Dwight Howard is comfortable again. I was never really a fan of him going to Los Angeles Lakers. I thought it was going to work out with the Houston Rockets, but I really hope that Dwight Howard can have a great season and find a home with the Atlanta Hawks. And guys, this game was all about the Phoenix Suns bench and the Phoenix Suns bench definitely produced. This game was close, but at the same time, the Phoenix Suns had this game in the bag, and I really have to give credit to Jared Dudley and to Leandro Barbosa, who helped the Phoenix Suns with some great scoring off the bench, which helped push this lead and get the Suns the win. And now with that being said, let's read you guys some in-game statistics. Eric Bledsoe and Devin Booker really struggled tonight. Their last game, they combined for 65 points. This game, Eric Bledsoe had 12 points and Devin Booker had 13. Quiet night for both of them. Brandon Knight had a great first half, really lit it up in the first quarter, but then really slowed down. The Atlanta Hawks defense definitely picked him up. He finished with 23 points. However, he shot 6 for 18, which is 33% from the field. Ouch. Andrew Barbosa was a big impact, definitely in the fourth quarter, inspired the Suns to go on an 11-0 run. Jared Dudley was 17 points tonight. P.J. Tucker coming off of a great game last game tonight also had 17 points. And for the Atlanta Hawks, Kent Bazemore with 22 points. Tim Hardaway Jr., who I think is playing pretty well, 21 points. As we just discussed, Dwight Howard, 17 points and 14 rebounds, and Dennis Schroeder with 31 points and 9 assists. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Brandon. Please subscribe to this channel for NBA basketball videos and a whole lot more on this channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys like the video, make sure to like the video. My name is Brandon, and I'll see you guys next time. The Atlanta Hawks. Caw -caw -caw -caw. Sorry, I, I don't know what that was.